my heart's pumping for this shot. This is so cool. 86 yards. We're going to muscle. We're going to hit a nice firm 60. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Nerves. That was nerves right there. Been thinking about that shot for three days. All right, welcome back to another film room presented by our friends at Roback. We are looking fresh in our hoodies and our pullovers on the golf course. We've got our polos on here. This is one of the freshest ones they've come up with. It actually went to Tron and said, hey, I'm wearing this one. Just plan your outfit otherwise because I want to wear this. The U.S. Open Media Day at the Los Angeles Country Club, the North Course. Uh, TC, you've been to LACC before. What makes this golf course special? Oh my gosh. LACC is quintessential George Thomas. It is eminently fair. It's a bunch of half part holes uh, all the way through. More of those seem at LACC seem to be half par on the upper side yeah. of par versus the lower side of par. But then you get another hole like, you know, you, there's some gettable shorter par fours. There's uh, there's some proper par fives. There's some short par threes. Like there's just variety all the way through the place. I think the, the word I always think about here is scale. The scale of the property is immense. And you think you, know, you realize where you are in Los Angeles, but the, the fairways are wide. Uh, the, the features, the rolls, the, the topography, everything's pretty bold out here. And the barrancas, the way they run through the middle of the, the front nine in particular. I think just the, the overall character, it's just the scale of it, it's, it's grand. I think you have this magnificent place that George Thomas created almost a century ago and Gil Hans has brought back to life. It's so natural and gnarly. I think it's so different than anything else we go to. It'll be a wider U.S. Open, but the weather affords us the opportunity for this place to get firm and fast. And when it does, we think the best players rise to the top because they can control their golf ball once it hits the ground, not just in the air. When George Thomas laid this golf course out, he realized that the topography out here is significant enough that if a ball starts moving, if it's firm, it's fast, and starts moving left, right, wherever, it's gonna wind up in the rough. And there's enough topography that he didn't feel like he needed to put a lot of fairway bunkers out here to challenge. So it's ultimately the golfers who are gonna be able to figure out how to shape their shots to hold slopes. Everybody's saying all the right things. The things that Gil Hans was saying about what George Thomas intended, the, thing, the things everyone is saying about what Gil Hans has done to this golf course. They have a puzzle that they can set it up to be a 10,000 piece puzzle. They can set it up to be a 1,000 piece puzzle if they want to, depending on the conditions, how much the firmness and fastness kind of adjust things. That's the other thing, like you're in LA, you don't have to worry about a crazy windstorm or you know, a deluge of rain. Like they're gonna have this thing exactly where they want it as far as firmness. The thing that really sticks out to me is the variety of holes. Um, it's really tough to find a true par hole out here. There are a lot of half par holes. And what I mean by that is, uh, you know, go down the first hole as an example. Number one is a very gettable par five. To me, it's a par four and a half. Number two is a very challenging par four coming back in the opposite direction. It's a par four and a half. And so the golf course does that to you often, kind of goes this back and forth of uh, easy hole, hard hole, easy hole, hard hole. And um, you know, that, that's really interesting. TC has challenged me to a match. He called this out months ago. I mean, maybe when they announced, in 2014, I think, when they announced the US Open was coming here, TC said, I want you in a match at LACC. So here we are, it's gonna happen. He's begged for strokes. Kind of thought he wanted just like a, you know, ball don't lie, like straight up match, but he wants strokes, that's fine, it's not a worry. I think we're back to life. Played yesterday at Bel Air, found something late in the day, putting really well, driving the ball really well. My irons have been dog shit lately. I was really excited after seeing Brookline last year. I think it's a really good golf course, and I think LACC, no disrespect to Brookline, blows it out of the water. It is a different level. We haven't seen a U.S. Open here ever. It's the first ever U.S. Open uh, at LA Country Club, and I cannot believe uh, that it's never been there, and I cannot wait to watch this year. So excited to see this golf course. We're starting on five. Five's very tough. It's very, it's like probably one of the top three or four most difficult holes on the course. And then six is one of the great short par fours in the world. So uh, I'm, I cannot wait to get back on this golf course. Right. Fit is fit is dialed, fabric is dialed. 
I mean, Randy, I'll ask you, how do I look? Resplendent, even, right? I got a surprise for him. I'm gonna bust out. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna guarantee victory. What a treat that will be for this one. We started on the fifth hole, long par four. Uh, really good hole to start on in terms of kind of understanding exactly what this golf course is about. This is a brute, this is a, a driver and a long to mid iron into this hole. Big green, but a ton of flexibility on where they can put that pin. Just execute two good golf shots and you're gonna have a look at birdie, but a lot of bogeys to be made on this hole. Number one handicap hole. All right, we're making a, we're making a wardrobe change. Oh God, that's what he's surprising me with on the first tee. We're going tanimal, baby. I do want to thank Roback for giving me some ammo to work against Sully. Busted out the tanimal outfit against Did not him. see that coming. Really? I was not ready for that. I was not ready for he that. He was shook. He, he threw me shook. off a little bit. An homage to DJ, my esteemed associate. So that's the lock on there. <laughs> I uh, cannot so. wait for this. Woo! Woo! Good ball. Nice. It's all day long, baby. In the middle. Big boy hole. I got seven wood. Run. Go. Sit. Go in. <laughs> Let's have a match today, TC. Okay. <laughs> so TC has negotiated his way into four strokes. Um, there was gets, no negotiating. We, we started here on the fifth hole. Uh, he gets a pop here. Um, I know he gets one on the second hole. And I think the 13th and 14th. Ah, a little firm through it. Good four, good hole. One down. Mission accomplished. Gotta take advantage of the stroke hole, baby. Five was five was a, a good hole to start on, but I would have liked to have gotten the six a little bit later in the round. <laughs> the hype on six is real. Uh, I've heard a lot about it, seen pictures, and I was like, oh, okay, this is like really like legitimately like a perfect golf hole. Like one of the great, like mind-bending golf holes. And I was even more impressed in person. I, I mean, I can't wait to watch them play six because it's drivable. So you're going to look at the scorecard and you go, okay, I should be able to drive this. And then you're going to stand on the tee and go, where's the green? Do you have the, the mental agility to figure out what your line is, trust it, and hit the shot? And then the layup or the angle to get the strategy is if you know the green is there and, there and we're asking you to hit 60 or 70 yards in that direction, again, it's another one where I think players, you always talk about players needing to show patience at a US Open and to think their way through it, but that hole in particular is gonna require a ton of thought, but it's not gonna provide any visual reward or very few visual cues in order to execute that shot. Oh God. Do something. That's gonna be fun. It is going to be fascinating to watch guys maybe try something one day and try something different the next day, depending where the pin is, depending on what the wind is doing. Uh, there's just enough risk around that green with driver that's not auto send and figure it out. Like yeah. you have to figure out where you want to hit it and play the right shot. I cannot wait to watch that golf hole. I hope they have a featured cam on that hole because that is going to be the highlight of the tournament. This is like the shot I was most looking forward to hitting on the entire course and I have to go over this fucking tree. Pretty much, I mean, straight through the base of that trunk, right? It's as good as I've got. Oh, my heart's pumping for this shot. This is so cool. 86 yards. We're going to muscle. We're going to hit a nice firm 60. Oh, no. Dang. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's going to be so bad. All right. Well, we'll see. Nope.
gonna have a bad time. Yeah, that was that was one like I wish I had had a, a more hearty like, one like uh, warm up, and then B uh, totally misplayed the hole, and then oh but God, ended up. Oh, you misplayed the hole. You misplayed the hole. <laughs> nope. Your boy over here is having a bad no, you, time. No, you played the hole correctly. You just, just didn't execute. <laughs> I just called it. I, I tried to muscle a 60. I wish I had 80 yards, not 86. <laughs> yeah, I can putt that one. The other thing, too, is there's so much more. It's not just like layup right or left. It's how far down there do you want to get? Strategy's going to change. Day to day, that's yeah. what I'm looking forward to watching the most. Yeah, oh, it's a spectacular hole. Do you see, I'm gonna give you that. I'm gonna let you win this one. What's that? I'm gonna let you win this one. I'll give you that. Oh my gosh! Well played. Generous. Thank you. Seven. Seven's a big boy par three. They're gonna put some long irons and, and hybrids and stuff in guys' hands. And look, the way the golf ball goes now, it's not gonna happen on a lot of par fours. So they're gonna make you hit several of these shots on par threes. I think that's one of the beauties and the brilliance of George Thomas here is the variety and the strategy. And I think a five par, five par threes and the variety of those, we can play them on any given day and you will see us do this. Anywhere from 300 yards at number 11 or number seven, all the way down to 80 or 85 yards on number 15 and everything in between. T. C. You know it's a good shot when he's not yelling at it. Nice play. Thank you. You go, Sally. Get back there. Go. Swing. Ooh, that landed soft. Travel. Travel. Go in there. Good three. Thanks. Well, thank you. Like pin up here. Good hole. It's just filthy. What a what a group of like modern par threes of like all right, we're gonna make you actually hit a long club into yeah. a green. Everyone's gonna have to hit the same yardage. And no. then we're also gonna make you hit like an 85 yard shot. Yes. I'm two down after three. He's striping the ball so far. It's a little bit of a worry. Uh, we got a long ways to go. Tanimals this time of year, um, you know, middle of the day, like they like to hunt in the mornings and in the evenings. Uh, the middle of the day is when they usually rest. So I'm, I'm surprised to see them come out with this much energy. Eight's a funky par five. Uh, I can't recall seeing a hole like this really ever before. It's a, a banking left to right teeing area. And then you're gonna wrap back around to the left with a tree in your way. Uh, to a relatively big green, but not a lot of places to miss around that one. I'm gonna be really keen to watch guys' strategy. I think all the golf balls are gonna kind of collect in the same area around, off the tee. Uh, I think we will see a lot of guys go for it, but the second you're out of position there, it's like an automatic layup, I think, and pretty easy wedge shot to a lot of pins there. So uh, it's gonna be a fun hole to watch as well. It reminds me of some of the holes at Valspar. Yeah, like yeah. Double dog leg yeah. par fives that, like, yeah, you can go for it, but you gotta get it ton of height on your second shot and you gotta you gotta work the ball both ways. That's a really awkward tee shot yep. too. No. Okay, Tom. That way up there. Stop I'm drawing me. Get out of the air. Mission accomplished. Good out, Sit. Sal. Sit. Fuck. Trying to do some some research. We'll fly or lie here.
Thanks. Keep going. Swing side. Wow. Over You're four a or five. Five, thanks. Nine, you just got to step up and hit a, hit a golf shot. Medium length, par three. Uh, could be a fun viewing spot, I think, but um, that's that's kind of the only medium length par three out there. The rest are all really long or really short. That's a big green, too. They can move that pin around drastically and yep. you know, change the nature of the hole. Be good. Well. All right. Golf shot. Golf Thank shot. you. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> nice swing, man. Uh oh. Insurance. Good oh. shot. Turn, turn, go. Whoa. Go, 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 go. Go in. <laughs> I did not know there was a ridge there. <laughs> it's a funnel pin, Randy. Little funnelly. Jeez. Oh. Wow, I thought I was like 20 feet past. That's good. Thanks. Pot Sally. Thank you. Good too. Thank you. Take a right, you go kind of down the hill a little bit and hit hit over this wildly cool centerline bunker complex. It's not just I'm not sure if it's one bunker or there's I think there's like three or four bunkers, bunkers up there. there. A couple bunkers. A couple up bunkers up there. Up there. <laughs> this one there. Ten's a little handshake in terms of for the rest, you know, compared to what the rest of the back nine is, like 410 yards, I think, for these guys even. Um, deceiving green, uneven lies in that fairway. I'm curious if guys are going to blow it over into 16 fairway and create some angles over there because it's flatter over there. And if you can find fairway over there, it's really, I was over there and it was really not bad. And you were commenting on how uneven the lies were uh, down there in the fairway and what, what that look looks like. Yeah. So if they can get over that bunker, I'm curious if guys are going to do that. Go. Just don't know what to do there. Ball's above your feet. Wind's kind of off the left. Take it, wind. Oh, no. Shit is gnarly. We don't, we don't, we don't get this in Northeast Florida too often. Pretty, pretty juicy. A little Shafua here. I mean, great shot. That's how you do it, right? Great shot. Hmm. Dang. Dang. That's what makes the short holes interesting. Yeah, six holes down. God, that's such a visually intimidating tee shot or uh, second shot. Like you're, you got so much more room right than you think. You think it's this narrow finger and there's no room right, and there's just so much visual fuckery going on. Um, I'm one up. The biggest thing we're concerned with right now is it's getting a little warm out here. <laughs> the tanimal is. I got to I got to just keep rolling with it though. I can't. I can't take it off. He's unsettled by the tanimal. 11. <laughs> oh my god, this golf hole. I mean, I I don't even know if I want to see him play it at 290. Like, I kind of want to just see guys have to try to land four and five irons into, maybe they're hitting that from 290, but 
down short left of the screen watching balls bound on it is not a hole you just fly it right on the green and figure it out you gotta like play the right shot right shot shape and the right distance to get one down the green oh, fuck. get on the ground well then if you if you miss the landing spot you know like both of us did that's uh, dead over there like you know two yards long or, or three yards long you don't get the, you know, the benefit and you just you know go down and highly dependent upon where the pin is it's one of the cooler green sites i've ever seen it's on this little great viewing spot yeah oh, my God. oh no yeah Come join me. Right there with you? Yeah. I don't think we're gonna have fun back there. Wow. Ah. No. <sighs> Such bad contact. God, just no touch. That's good. Nice. Woo! All around good putt there, Sally. 12, like, having played that hole twice before, I'm not even sure if that was an advantage because it's, it's almost like, fuck, I remember this shot. This isn't... That's a Brookline hole. That's yeah. like that, uh, I think it was even, is that 12 at Brookline? That, that bends around to yeah. the left like that, I think? That, that, reminded, deposit, me, yeah. that reminded me a lot of Brookline. Uh, but again, it's gonna be a fun staging area back there. A lot of hospitality back there, and that's gonna be a really popular part of the golf course. But yeah, you gotta kind of pick a line. There's a white rock on the on the hillside there, and then yeah, that's a you gotta buckle up for that second shot. Yep. You gotta you gotta be be committed there. Oh, that's perfect. That was an uncomfortable <laughs> shot. <laughs> Swing. Thanks. That all right? I think it should be okay, right? It's okay, yeah. No. Oh. So bad. Good there, Sally. Thank you. Thank Good you. four. Man, you be right here. <laughs> yeah, good putt. Thanks. Good four. Is Kevin is Kevin not in the U.S. Open? We Don't need him to come so. out and throw balls out here in the rough and, and bury think, him. I think the Iron Heads have a corporate, corporate <laughs> hospitality suite. Uh, and then 13's just, 13's like Mad Max, Fury Road shit off the tee. Uh, just big, you know, big swale down the right. Gotta hug the left with the tee shots. It's a 60 yard wide fairway, maybe 70 yards. But again, if you, it's like Kapalua over there on the right side. It will roll all the way down into the rough if you don't hold the right angle. Kapalua is a good, a good comp for some of these holes of, you know, yeah, there's, it's out there. You just gotta, you gotta get the ball started on the right line, you know. That, that hole green. is what makes me like think about Morikawa a lot for this. Like if you're, if it's gonna be, Kind of like whistling straights in terms of shot value. Feels like of like we're gonna we're gonna be in some long irons here. It's not gonna be a driving pitch. Um, that uh, my my attention turns to somebody like Morikawa pretty quickly. It's 468. Wind off the left. You got the Playboy Mansion up the left, where our friend Zach got bit by the monkey up there on 14 T. Just a lot going on here. <laughs> Guy drives it up an ass. Very well done. Swing, Sally. Thank you. It's no longer the Playboy Mansion. Yeah, some, some private equity guy bought it. And I think it went pretty far downhill the last years of Hugh's life. Oh, God. 
Get up there. I'll take that after that swing. I can hear the animals at the Playboy Mansion. Just like that. 13 is another one too, where you gotta you gotta come into that green from the from the proper angle. There's that mound. There's a big kind of knob on the left, you know, middle left of of that green on the fringe there. I think we got the same situation that DJ ran into. It was like a little too warm to be wearing the tan outer layer, but kind of committed to the bit. And I wonder how how long it takes to uh, to wear them down. Sit. Good there. Thank you. Fuck. 14 is another. Every time we do one of these media days, I think like, oh man, I don't know if this is a two shot hole for these guys. And it always is. They always figure out a way to get it there in two. But long par five, not very wide on this hole. And it's not just bomb it wherever you want. You got to hit the right distance on the right line to find the fairway to have a shot at it. And everything kind of banking off down the right. There could be some kind of disasters on that hole. Another one, big, you know, big decision, like go for it or not. You could probably, probably bail out short left. You, yeah, you don't want to mess with that right side. Highly dependent upon where the pin is too. Yeah. Um, another, and, and Another one, highly dependent upon wind, too, because if you spin it up into that wind, it's going to get crushed. It should be perfect. Bounded left. A bounce. Yeah, I think it, I mean. Kick a field goal between the tree and that building. No, what the fuck is that? Oh no. How do you think this thing's gonna come out? I'll take that all day. Got plenty of green now. Yeah. Oh God. Dang. Not a lot of sand in these. Good butt. Good there. Good there, Sally. Dang. I'd have made me putt that. And then 15. True story, I think I forgot to drone 15 because I thought it was a chipping green. I didn't even like understand where the hole is. It's such a short hole. Didn't know where the tee was. The shape of the green doesn't look like that's where the tee should come in at. It's gonna be a different hole every single day. I bet they're gonna put it up front one day and make it about 85 yards. I bet they put it all the way in the back right one day and make it 135 yards. Another just awesome, like this is a reason why the US Open's going to LACC as a hole like number 15. Not, no chance. Oh, I hit a foot behind that. Yeah, there's that elephant buried right in at the kind it. Of front, front third of the green, or you know, from like 30 to 50 percent there. There's a wing on the back right of the green. Uh, that's a giddy to watch that hole. Yeah. It's on. I don't know what to do with that.
espera. That's it. I don't know what else could do. <laughs> That's good. All right, good three. We'll flip wedge. I hit a 48, and it's kind of just midway back. We had a little helping wind. I mean, they could put the T up and put the pin up there in that tongue, and it's 78 yards. Oh, they. Uh, if oh, I was a, if I was playing in the U.S. Open and I saw like 86 yards on the card for one of the Terrifying. days, I'd be I'd be freaking out. I guess I probably wouldn't be freaking out to the level that. My broke ass is freaking out because they probably control their ball a little better than I can, but still, that, no thanks. Uh, 16. 16 just okay for me, though. kind of got it. It's another one, depending upon where the hole, where, where the pin is. Deception bunker front right there of the green where uh, green really falls off. There's a bowl down there. That bunker is like. 20 or 30 yards in front of the green and you think it's guarding everything and you have no room over it. Um, I think that's that's one that if they put a back pin or back left pin, totally changes the complexion of the hole and guys are gonna get spooked by it a little bit. Arturo did not like this play, but I think we can do this. I cannot. Ah! No! Potter. Really well done. Yeah. Oh, it's a lot of dubs. That was a safety first par. Just trying to trying to manage the course there. 17, when you get there, again, it's so wide out there that 17 is not tight, but having gotten used to a lot of wide fairways, it looks tight because there's a barranca that runs all the way down the right side. Don't want to be there. A bunker that's going to be perfectly in the landing area for a lot of guys with driver. I have a, I have a feeling right there on the left. It's like you got to step up and thread the needle there. And then again, another shot where they've got these features in front of the green that are just hiked up in the right spots just to, you know, conceal enough of the green to make it a really uncomfortable shot. Right in. Glad I hit the six. Just a shit swing. Golf shot. Ah, shot solid. It's good. Okay. I think it's past the rough. I don't think it's on. Thanks. Easy. Easy. Ooh. Thank you. You're good there, Sally. Thank you. Go. He was friendly, but that's that's not that's not give me. Got a baby. Good putt. How do people play that hole? From, there. From over there? Okay. Yeah. 
That would be the ultimate twist. That's the 17th green. <laughs> Just totally randomly on Sunday. Dudes would freak out. And then 18 is like, I don't know, like from where they're playing it. Uh, you know, I mean, granted, I, I hit the best drive of the day on 18. <laughs> Oh God, my back, uh, I think I blacked out over the ball. I was trying to hit this. It's the shot I've had in R&D for a while. I've, I've hit it a few times. I hit, I, I hit it a few times out at Sawgrass when we did the film room. Um, you know, just that, that low riser, kind of JT. Uh, we'll, we'll, low, we'll work on that. Low, low draw, but, uh, but yeah, that's. Another hole that's wide, so freaking wide. It so wasn't wide. though. They, they were gonna play that. They had grown up the rough between between uh, one and eighteen there, and the last month or so they've cut down all that rough, and which I think is the right decision. It's a tough green. It's a four hundred and ninety yard hole. It's, and it's just again, if it, if it's as firm as they're planning on it, anything down the left, anyways, you can't like come into the green from that angle. Like you got to play down the right to have an angle at any of the left pins. And I'll bet on the championship days the pins are on the left, and they're gonna. Again, these are things that Bodenham was saying out loud in terms of we want people to be finding the right parts of fairways for it to matter. If it's firm, it's going to matter on those angles. It's going to matter where they put those pins. They're going to, that's exactly how they're thinking of like, I'm going to put the pin here to make a guy think about how he has to get to it. And there. Golf is always, like major championships are always fun to watch the back nine, but the path of getting there on this one is what separates this course from our favorite punching bag, Torrey Pines, something like that. Ah. Huh. Man. Well, you had no problem with it. Good shot. Thanks. Right in the jaw. Good there. Good four. Dang it. Now, I think uh, I think something else that's gonna be really cool is a lot of the time the clubhouse and the sense of place is obscured by grandstands and everything. I think it's gonna be wide open between the 18th green, one uh, tee, the clubhouse, the porch off the back there. They're gonna be teeing off uh, on one tee from the putting green behind the porch. <laughs> Forgot about that. Uh, it's it's a little bit like Pinehurst in that regard, where you're you know you're right there next to the clubhouse. I think there's there's a distinct sense of place, and it just the place has the it factor. It is it is a gorgeous clubhouse. It is it, it's just such a it's one of the coolest settings I've ever seen for golf. It's it's. It's not on par with the old course, but it's, it's certainly up there. Flipping over to number one, handshake opener, typical George Thomas style of a par five. That's kind of like, here you go, go right ahead. We'll give you a little head start. Go ahead and start the day. That should scare people a little bit because of what's to come after that. Um, I think you're gonna see a lot of guys play down that right. I mean, I, I think the rough's gonna get a lot worse. I was down the right, but it was really not bad at all over there. Your drive was uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I was very comfortable. I was gonna not miss left no matter what happened. That was provocative, Solly. Come on! Jesus. Is that fairway? Did not see that line. <laughs> if you get down the right, you can really chase something down onto that green really well. I think if you get down the left, you're probably just going to end up kind of hitting one to the short right part of the green, trying to get up and down from there. But a lot of birdies in number one. I'd be shocked if that wasn't the easiest hole all week long. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, guys that kind of overcook something and hit it too far down the left, they're, they're going to have to contend with that fairway bunker. Got seven wood. No. Come on, ride it. That's that's easily too. Like you look at that green. There's a ton of slope, front to back in that green. There's some guys that you overcook one a little bit, and you're gonna be, you know, unexpectedly scrambling to make par. That is so bad, man.
should have hit the 54. That bounce, it bounced off the collar. No focus. Oh, <laughs> great putt, man. All right, I'm one down, three to play. TC pops here on the second hole. We're running out of holes, running out of steam. Uh, very tired swing last hole. It's just gonna be who can outlast. Two's a ball buster. No other, you know, ifs, ands, or buts about it. You gotta, you gotta hit a good drive down there to have, you know, have a good shot at, at, at that green with a, you know, a mid iron instead of, instead of coming in with something too, too long. Um, I think the saving grace is the wind will probably be off the left or even helping a little bit off the left. Um, much bigger green than it looks like from the fairway. You get up there, you're like, oh man, I got so much more green. Left is, left is seemingly dead, short is dead, but there's not really a bailout long. I don't want to play that hole again. It's just hard. It's just really hard. Um, and a, another hole that's like, not the easiest fairway to hit, and it's a, a, a even primo. A like, you got to hit the fairway there. It's just not going to be a fun shot coming to the U.S. Open Green. Nice swing. Thanks. Whew. Fuck you, dipshit. Sit. Great shot. Hit it. Good there. Good there. Oh, nice five, you jackass. Three is uh, three's an awesome hole. It is an uncomfortable driving hole. Kind of a mid-length par four. The fairway cants wildly right to left. There's a barranca that you have to clear, and then it'll, it'll just spit it up there. It'll kind of kind of accelerate it up there, and there's gonna be, you're gonna have to avoid divots up that left side as well. Uh, and basically, with that Bermuda turf, guys are gonna be hitting like very uncomfortably uphill wedge shots uh, into kind of an elevated green, and if they, again, just like five, if they put that pin on the right side of the green, front part of the green. Uh, that's gonna be a tough one to control spin too. You guys are gonna be spinning it back on that green, even on firm, fast ones. Uh-oh. I think that's all right. It's all right. Guys, driven it well. Unplayable? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it's spinning back. <laughs> That'll do it. Shot. Pulled it. Ooh, God, you wrap that. Well, hold. Thank you. Good putt, bud. Thank you.
Good match. Oh, Solly. Enjoyed it. You got a lot you to look me. forward you to. Got, you got me. You got me good today. <laughs> You're going to be a father, thank right? You, thank you. Thank you. It's like a Monday afternoon. Why is there, why is there a dude a, flying around? A banner? A banner. Wow, I, I, ac I actually paid for it. It's <laughs> TC wins. It's a TC. <laughs> Two and one. Two and one. Um, just my really bad golf shots led to double bogey. Not just bogeys, but just totally, totally gave him golf holes. A couple holes I definitely would have played different had I, you know, once I got up to seeing where my ball was, was like, all right, well, this was not the place to miss. I think I should have known better. Uh, I'm not going to say, you know, he has an unfair advantage playing the course twice before me. I wouldn't say that. You know, he beat me fair and square. Finally, and our four. last four. Unbelievable house, uh, you know, to the right side. Similar to, it's similar to, to, to nine. It's probably a little bit longer than nine, but just a little bit downhill uh, or a lot bit downhill, but it doesn't play quite as much downhill as you would think. You got to get the ball to the green. It's not going to really hop up there. It's pretty, pretty severe in front. And then you don't want to be in that front bunker. Not a good place to be. Um, that's, I think whoever like the par threes, if you play the par threes well and Kind of gain, you know, gain a little bit on the field, but I think the guys that play the par threes poorly have no nope. no chance in this tournament. <laughs> Where'd it go? I was way. I hit a horrible. I was way short. One guy, one name, who wins the U.S. Open this year? I I said this at the start of the year to a friend, and I, I think it's Colin Morikawa. He's a local guy. I think he knows the area. I think he's, he's played here, I think, in the Pac-12 championship. He's accurate as he can be, so I think I like his chances. I found it to be doable, extremely doable. The holes where I stepped up and hit just made two solid golf swings. Very clean looks at birdie. I would not be surprised if we see somebody shoot 64, maybe even lower in the very first round. It's a par 70. It's, it's gettable, but... Man, it does not take a very big mistake for double bogey to enter the equation very quickly. TC, great match. I appreciate the challenge. I appreciate you put that on the calendar. You said, I want you at LACC. You got me at LACC. Uh, I, I will be coming for revenge, I promise you that. The Tanimal will be back as well. 